Forgot to charge my GoPro. Man, look how woody this Spurge is. Good morning, Rach. Good morning. You know, it is going to be almost 90 degrees. I don't think it was a good idea to dress like a ninja. In like all black. I have my Musi shirt on now. I didn't know it was going to be that hot. Yeah. Well, it's going to be 85. It's going to feel like we only have two yards of soil and then I got to put fertilize down. Yeah, we're not going to be here. So we won't be here too long. I got to rake this out. Yesterday we got a nice amount of rain. Up here we did anyway. You could see the lawn's a little bit greener from what it was. I need to rake that out a little bit better. Rachel comes over. I rake it out and she comes over. Like in, we'll, remember we, we'll Jared away from the house. Yeah. Jared was working on that. See all the... So what Rachel's going to do now that this was raked in any areas that were raked in, she's going to go by and sprinkle seed back over top of this stuff. See all these low areas that settled when the rain came in? She's going to go and sprinkle seed all over them while I load up these other two yards and put it in areas that I think need it. Look, these are hot spots. All along the road, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I don't know. Do you think that there's like some type of drainage under here? Oh, yeah, there might be, actually. Like, yeah, I'm not sure. See, it's like that all the way down. See how it's like that there? Mm -hmm. But everybody else has been watering. These guys don't water, so. Yeah. Not looking too bad for not watering. I'm going to go around and get some bigger weeds. Okay. Like, yeah, I sprayed then, all like, of them. Look, like areas like this, where there is like a little bit of patch build up, you know, from like dying, dead, just go like this. Yeah, we don't mow this lawn, so. You unearth it a little. And now you have much more, better chance of soil to seed contact without bringing up weed seeds. Yeah. Right? That's why we have forego one on aeration this year to see how that does. But let me get my wheelbarrow. You see we have dirt all through here. I'm going to put a little more here. Some right here. Some right here. Just in little areas where it's a little more bare, where you don't see as much grass coverage. But, so look, that's how much rain we got yesterday. So that might have been like a half inch. Nice. And we put the seed down, so. All right, I wanted to get the seed down before that rain came. But we put the seed down, so that helped. Okay, guys. Look, there's a storm brewing coming from that way now. Yesterday the storm came from that way. But Rachel got, we got the two yards moved to soil. I gotta rake this out a little bit more. She's gonna throw down some seed everywhere. What? You're gonna throw down some seed over areas? Yeah, I don't know how much grass is under here, but look how low this is. Yeah, I know. That's fine. I'll just overseed it. I think it was dead grass that we, or uh, like that. Drouted grass that was under there. So. so I'm gonna go do the fun part and put fertilizer down. Yeah. That's gonna be fun, man. Oh, it's cooler after today. Much cooler. Oh, we might have finished this just in time, guys. I hear thunder in the background. We have another storm over here. This is all coming from the north, from the cold front. And then look, another big storm over here. That one's about blocking the sun, so I think that one's gonna hit us. I seen lightning out that way. Look, come down around here. That's the sod field. They were seeding yesterday. That's not the sod and the seed we get from. You guys probably have that around you. That's Turf Mountain. We use, uh, not Turf Mountain, that's, that's super sod. We use Turf Mountain. Oh man, look at it out here.
So we're finished these two. These are our first two seed in aeration. Not aeration, I keep saying aeration. Our first two we seeded, fertilized. So what we did on these two properties, and you gotta get these properties, guys, for all full service, for all the pruning. We do all the, that on this, all the mulch, all the seeding, all the fertilizing, all the weed spraying on this one and then you've seen the 70,000 square foot. That's what it is, it's 70,000 square foot. Wow, look at that. So we did two of them together, a total of 70 plus 20. So 80,000, 90,000 square feet. Look, that's a pretty big storm coming that way and that way right there. So 90,000 square feet all together, four yards of mulch. Um, not four yards of mulch, four yards of soil, fertilized both of them, fertilized, seeded both of them, and I'm coming back to spray both these lawns, 90,000 square foot. And for all that, it was, I think, 5,500. Maybe a little more, I don't know exact number, but that's why you gotta get full service properties, guys. You can do everything on them. Yeah, it's everywhere, these storms. Yeah, I mean, I love it. I'm so happy that it's raining after we do this. Yeah, there was a big difference between if you guys watched yesterday's video and then watched today's video, there was a difference just in, in, the, lawn, in the lawn from getting a quarter inch to a half inch of rain maybe over here. Now this might give us a whole inch of rain. You see that storm? That's all coming from the north, coming from west's side of the mountain in Tennessee. Oh, did they get it? It's a cold front. I hope they got it. Look, everybody has their sprinklers out in this yeah, development. Yeah, because they said that they were dry too, right? Yeah, like super dry. Oh yeah, they did add some soil there, like drain it. But watch when we go down around here. Man, I do not like that house. is funky looking right there. Not my cup of tea. Other day for oh, just missed a lightning bolt over there. It could rain every day for another for 50 straight days. All I can care. not like continuously, just like wow, look at all those a half rain. a quarter inch of rain, and then maybe a break, and then another quarter. And cool weather. Okay, look out to the left. I saw that's where I saw the lightning. I had some good, good, really good lightning yesterday. I don't know if the camera catches it. come prepared guys what I mean by that is with recording my GoPro I thought was charging but obviously it died um so I can't record with that but what we're doing here Rachel's gonna mow this lawn down low we are putting three oh man look at this mole here oh no that's the drainage they put in hello we are putting three yards of topsoil Throughout this whole yard, we're reseeding this, doing all this here, and doing that. And then we'll show you progress on this lawn because she is letting us set up timers to come on every morning. What hose is to water most of the backyard. It's not gonna be everything. We have one, we have three tripods. We're gonna put one back here. We're gonna put one kind of over here to hit all this area, but it's not gonna get 
everything. Um, and then we're going to put another tripod sprinkler on a timer up front here. And we're going to set it to come on every morning for about 30 minutes in each section. And then I guess when we come to mow or check on it, I will, I'll just move the sprinklers to wherever nothing, wherever it's not getting. So, okay, let me go around and spread seed. Um, Rachel's got a mowing area first, but maybe I'll mow this area so I can put dirt here real quick. Okay, so Rachel's cutting down everything really low. I think I have it at three and a quarter. We're spreading all this topsoil. There's two yards here. We're putting all along here, spots in the front. We're doing a total of three yards. I'm gonna come back with a yard while Rachel's maybe mowing the neighbor across the street. But you see Jared's putting topsoil all back here. We're gonna rake it along the wall here. And then we're gonna put everything on sprinklers. And I might wait to spray until I water this lawn a couple days. So we'll see. Cooler temperatures, I have leeway to do that. So let me go ahead and finish dumping soil. Okay guys, this is the one we did yesterday. I came back this evening to spray it with tenacity. I have sprinklers set up to get 80% of this lawn watered twice a day. I mean, twice a morning, one at five in the morning and one at, um, this one comes on at 6.45 for 30 minutes. Uh, this one comes on at 5.30 for 30 minutes and 12 o'clock, 12.30 in the afternoon for 30 minutes. And then this one's coming on and doing a 360 and watering as much as that part for 30 minutes, uh, twice a day. For a week I'm going and I'll check on them and see where I gotta move them where dry areas in the yard. Just to try to water this the best we can without having irrigation. Um, this yard, I think we did. And here's another reason. Somebody mentioned about getting a stand on sprayer spreader. I've thought about it. But it's kind of the same as like, you know, the aerator. We were only doing like 10, 12 smaller lawns in the beginning. Uh, so we would always rent a stand on or rent a walk behind aerator. Well, we got to the point where we were doing 30 or 40 of them now. So at that point we said, you know what? We have to schedule this thing and everything. That's when we decided to invest in that. As far as a stand on spreader sprayer, I see no point. Yeah, it is harder work, but it's what keeps me as healthy. One, I could buy um, a stand-on sprayer spreader, but most of my yards are this big, a little bit bigger than this. We have four really big ones. One's 70,000 square foot, one's 20, and then I think we have a couple that are 10 and versus that. But out of the 32 lawns that we do, seed, soil, spray, and everything, I'd say five of them are... 15,000 square foot and over. Five of them are about eight to 10,000 square foot and the other 20 something are about as big as this, which is 5,000 square foot and under. So me personally, until I get, we only have 32, account, 32 of the fertilizing accounts because we haven't pushed it. We just do it for the clients we've had for the last how many years. I decided that it isn't worth it to get a stand on spreader sprayer because the cost for one, they're probably like 10 grand. For two, I can push all the small stuff with a spreader. For three, I don't have to carry a trailer. I can just bring my truck with a spreader, all the stuff I need. I don't need a trailer to lug around. It's a lot easier. For a stand-on spreader sprayer, not sure it can handle hills like I have in my yard. So like, like we have on all our properties. So there'll be a point where it'll be worth the investment of that type of equipment. That point would be if I decide next year to ramp up spraying so I don't have to do as much mowing, which will be, we're at 32 mowing accounts. Next year we'll be at 21 mowing accounts because as you know, we do 100 to 200 yards of mulch a year too. And any other pruning for the ones. So basically we're whittling it down to 21 to 23 of the closest accounts to us and it's full service. We prune everything, treat everything, spray for bugs, spray for insects. We do everything on these lawns. So if I decide to pick up more spraying accounts next year, 
Um, I told Rachel my limit would be if we were, say, to pick up 30 more next year, and we were doing 60 accounts then, spraying, doing all the fertilizer and treatments, at that point, it would make sense to invest that money into the business and buy that particular piece of equipment because then Rachel can do all the flat parts while I run around with the hopper and do all the smaller parts. And we'll still be able to manage because if I'm doing 32 accounts by hand, I can only do so many a week. So when we get to 60, I can't be delaying sprays and delaying apps. So we will then invest in that type of equipment. So like I said, Rachel can do all the stand on spraying, spreading, because it'll be calibrated to the machine, not to my steps. And then I'll do all the stuff that requires where you can't get in with a spray and do all that. And see, that's when it makes sense. So sometimes 